Hello guys, Tim here back again, uh, and this time we've got a um, review of the Toplan Arcade Shoot'em Up Collection Volume 3. Uh, this one consists of four games, uh, Batsugen, V Manor, um, Tiger Heli and Fix 8. This obviously is the third in the collection. Um, the collection, if you buy the games separately, they're £6.69 each, or if you buy them as a collection, I think it's £16.50 each. Uh, sixteen pound fifty for the collection of four games, um, and each uh, and the two other collections in the CDs are the same price as well. Um, so I, you know, to be honest, for what you get in, I think you're getting a pretty good deal, for, especially for sixteen quid to buy them like that. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to show you all the extras you get uh, on this version on uh, Batch again, and that applies to all the games in all three collections basically. So let's get into this. So, in the options, if I go back up to the top, you've got your video options. Um, in your video options, you can have full screen, you can have small screen, whichever way you want to look at it. Uh, you also got scale, so you can do a pixel, a pixel to ratio scale, so basically square pixels, so it'll be nice, or you can fill it out, which does stretch it a little bit to get it full screen. The only problem in doing full screens, you may get a little bit of uh, shimmering. But uh, the pixel perfect mode, you don't get that because it's perfect square pixels. Um, you've got the original mode, uh, the original mode, sorry, and you've got rotate. So basically, you can rotate in various different ways. So you can put it in tate mode. So you can put your screen on the side essentially, and then um, play it pretty much like it was in the arcades. Interesting one as well, which was added to the other collections as well, is the mirror mode. So when you turn the mirror mode on, you basically get the same game but everything's flipped very clever in mirror mode simple idea but super clever so it flips everything so the game does feel very different when you do that it's quite interesting mirror mode i quite like it to add a bit of uh, longevity to your game in the screen modes you have uh, scan lines which uh, basically give you like a a, C a scan line effect which is, is a bit barred to be honest and you get like a crt filter the one thing i say to bitwave if they really would it's okay could give me a crt filter some people like it but just give me plain scan lines i would love to have just plain scan lines on this uh collection just you know your sharp pixels and be able to just put scan lines over the top that would be a fantastic option and an option that's not on this collection which is a little bit of a shame but hopefully bitwave will watch this and maybe they'll add it in future that would be just a plain you know pixel perfect uh scan lines, you know sharp pixels and then scan lines over the top that would be fantastic so you get that one um, you also, if I go back into video, you also get a pixels mode, which gives you uh, interpolation on top. It does tell you what it actually does, actually. Um, but there you look. See, so the, it scales up the image uh, without blending colors. Uh, so basically, you don't get any interpolation or anything. So basically, you do get a little bit of shimmering, shimmering sometimes. Um, you've got steps. Uh, this gives you basically the scaled up mode, but you get uh, interpolated in between. So hopefully, you don't get any of the shimmering because um, it's all sort of filled in. I'm not sure exactly how the interpolation works, but it basically gets rid of shimmering. That's all you need to know. Um, the other one you've got then is a smooth, which is basically bilinear filtering. So basically, it's like smearing even grease. Um, some people like that look. I don't. I don't think it looks very nice. But you know that's me. So blue mode essentially, and you go back to your scan lines, which uh, I wish to just basically standard scan lines. So I'm going to go to the steps mode because that's what I've been using. You can have a full screen window or you can have it in a window or you can have, this is like a borderless window essentially on the PC. This is an interesting one. You can have 60 Hertz, which is more compatible with most um, screens these days, or you can run the game at the original speed. I'm not, entirely sure what the original speed of this actually is uh with jammer not jammer being um 
the actual connector is is an interface that's a standard, but the video output on um, Jamad isn't because all it tend to all but the different boards all output to various different refresh races races because these but you go into CRTs and CRTs to handle everything. Um, so depending on your screen setup, you might not be able to run the original mode. The original mode will be slightly slower than sixty hertz, I believe. Uh, because obviously it might run at like 59 hertz or 58 hertz. I, like I say, I'm not entirely sure how, what it runs at, but um, if you can, you're better off running like the original would be, which gives him, uh, which gives you a nice sort of feel and everything. So we'll return to that. Audio options. Um, you've got play sounds. So you can play the music and various other things. And then you've got music on, music off. You do have filters. The sound in Batugan is a little bit on the high pitch, shrill sort of side. You can sort of limit it a little bit with the with the high pass filter. Um, but to be honest, all, a lot of it tends to cut it right off, and it doesn't it doesn't sound very good. So maybe an option just to add a little bit of bass to some of these games would be quite nice. But anyway, that you know, you can play around with it. You can add reverb and echo and various other things to it, which is um, a nice option to have. There, uh, your input now. You can have steam input. You can have um, raw input. Steam input w actually works on this collection now. Um, you got player one. You got player two. You got controller enabled. Uh, you got keyboard enabled. The controller setup is actually really nice now. It actually comes up with um, this, like a steam edit. And you can edit various things in your really nice and easy. It's literally go over, there, press a button, and off you go. Much nicer way than they did it before. I, I like this setup. There's a lot of configuring you can do, which uh, works out really well. So that's the button configuration, which is very nice. Uh, same with the keyboard. You've got keyboard, and you've got your show controls, which is these the controls there. I have swapped my buttons around to be more like the arcade machine. Uh, with the versions as well, you've got uh, different difficulties. So you've got, well, sorry, not difficulties, you've got different versions of the game. You've got the normal original arcade game, which is one loop and uh, is considered to be slightly harder. And then you've got the special version, which adds four loops. So basically, once you once you play through the game once, Killer Boss, you loop again, but you, you basically you don't play the first level. So you end up with only playing like four levels. And then the second loop, you don't play the second and the first level. And then, and then until you loop it four times, and uh, then you complete it, which is pretty hard to do. I I can't do that. So we're gonna we're gonna play the special version because that's what pretty much everyone plays. The special version has also got um, it's considered to be slightly easier, um, and it has slightly different colours. And I think they've reworked maybe some of the uh, patterns on enemies and the bullets are a little bit slower. I believe I could I could be wrong. Um, in game, then you got you got different versions. You got your Hong Kong, Taiwan, Asian, Europe, USA. So I'm going to stick to the Japanese one. Uh, there's your standard difficulty. Uh, you can change this, make it harder or not. But you got to watch for this because it, it will affect your ranking if you want to get on the uh, high scoreboards. Same with the extra lives. You can put them up and down. You can change the when you get the ext the extends. You can turn your track sound on and off. Uh, coins or in automatic, or you can have just a coin. So I, I got I've just left it on automatic. Borders. You can change different color borders. There's various ones in here, and I'm just sticking to that one. Uh, you can turn the frame on or off, it's up to you. And the stats, these are like pretty much the um, gadgets. So, same as I, I have mentioned before, the gadgets are quite nice. You can turn them on or off. I don't know really why you would have the sound one, but it's there as an option. Um, the other thing I would say is you could, you could, these things score ones are massive they could be tidy up a bit maybe half the size and then add some of this artwork or something back into it but you know with this you can see how many shots and everything else you got very similar to what uh, shot triggers do but obviously not quite as nice but still good though uh this is where it gets interesting if you turn the assists on you won't get on the ranking tables but you but auto fire is fine um and you've got auto dodge which is an interesting one um so basically you put it on it'll auto dodge bullets for you you can change your health so you can have a sense of your shield you can 
for your hitbox you can have a small hitbox or, or a normal size hitbox so your hitbox is basically a square on the middle of your ship that if any other bullets uh, hit they basically you'll explode and die but you can make that even smaller you can show the hitbox which is interesting so you'll you'll see the hitbox on your ship you see the hitbox on your enemies and various other things you'll shoot uh, you've got a rewind function as well which you can use in game and you can change the language for japanese and english so that's a lot of nice options there to do um You've got a save option, so you can basically save your options. You can uh, have a look at your save replays, and you can do quick saves and stuff. So you can get so far in the game, quick save it. As you can see, there's quite a lot of quick saves. You can have 10. Would be nice to have a little bit more, I suppose, but there's 10 quick saves. So you've got load and save from in here. Um, you've got your ranking mode. So this is your online ranking. So you can have a look in here, see who's got the best scores, and you, you can see how many times they've looped it. The green one with the circles, how many loops they've done is quite uh, quite nice uh, and that's for all different versions of the game as well uh, practice modes get interesting you can pick uh, different characters you can pick whatever mission you want so you've got the five missions uh, and then what you can do as well you can pick the level you start level one level two level three uh, you can pick what upgrade levels you're on so you can you can do that is also quite nice you can pick up any bombs and one interesting one you can pick a section uh, of a level and you can just literally replay it you can cycle through it continuously which is quite nice so if you go to like ice man you can pick the ice man which is a character and pick mission two and then you can pick three three different sections within that level so there's a lot there's a lot for you to practice and come back to uh, so it's nice to have, you've got the save states and you've got the practice mode, which is quite nice. Uh, you've got your credits, which are tow plan staff and bitwave staff who uh, did the game. And then you just reset, and the reset is basically back to the start screen. So there's all the options. All those options apply to each of the games, and they also apply to each of the games on Volume uh, 1 and Volume 2. So let's actually get to the games. Batsugan absolute arcade classic considered to be the first bullet hell shooter you've got three characters wide shot electric shot and like a in between wide and short shot um there is a leveling system in this game after you shoot so many enemies you level up and then your weapons get better and better to the point your weapons get a bit crazy all over the screen home in shots all various things in this game is basically just fire and bomb Game, all these games as well play lovely. There's all the mini minimal amount of um, input lag. Just feels like playing on it on main. I, I can't test the input lag, sorry guys. I've got no way of really doing it, but um, going by what well, my test always usually is, is how it feels to play. And then as a double test, just do that and let go. And if it, if it stops instantly, it's pretty good. You'll find sometimes with games with bad input lag, you'll carry on moving after you've wiggled it around a few times. But on this, it's instant. So, and it feels good to play as well. So with this, you should basically shoot the enemies, and you'll see I got three bombs at the bottom. And you see that and it says level one. That level one is my basically my sort of uh, normal leveling. Uh, you can. You can basically, each time you shoot an enemy, that bar will go up. Once it gets to the top, I'll level up then. I'll get enough XP, level up, and get to level 2. My weapons will get better. I say the colours, the colour palette has changed compared to the original as well. The original version is very good as well. It's just, this is, this is the one that everyone tends to play. Because it's got the multiple loops. So this did get a, a, re a new release in the arcade on Exa, which is fantastic, the Exa version. Really good indeed. And it did get a console release as well, uh, which is the Saturn port, because this did originally come out on the Sega Saturn. And then you've got the Bitwave ones, which then literally the arcade ones. So as I carry on playing through this, now you'll see me level up at some point. There's also sometimes you get little uh, pigs in the background. And if you hang over them, they lose, they use sort of uh, wiggle, and then you you can get more um, XP off them. 
There's lots of little tricks and stuff you can do in this game for scoring. Uh, one of the bosses you can get a very high score on if you know how to do it. You've got bombs. Uh, there's, a, there's a little bit up here. See, these are the pigs. So what I'll do is, I'll show you how to get this score. You can get an extra points off this plane that takes off. You shoot it right. Yeah, I got the bonus. Catch him as he's just about to take off. Right, so I'm getting very close to a level up. It's going to happen anytime soon. And you'll see my weapons get way better. Nice to have on the boss, actually. It does clear all the screen of uh, bullets. That's if I don't die, by the way. When you die as well, your power goes back to zero, so you will have to collect the P power-ups. So, the P power-ups don't give you a level up, but they do power your weapon up within that level. I'm going to bomb it So unfortunately when I died, I lost all my P power-ups, so I'll need to collect a couple of them now and then basically I'll be at full power on level 2. That won't take me long. This game is really good fun to play as well. The Once you get past the first loop, um, the game does get uh, a lot harder then. You know, a lot more bullets on screen. You also get suicide bullets. So what I mean by that is that um, enemies, when they die, they'll chuck out a load of bullets as they die in. Well, now we're starting to get powered up. They'll chuck out loads of bullets as they die in, and then um, you can get hit by all that. That's what we call suicide bullets. I got a pretty good pattern for killing it. What you'll also find is that later on this game how, how much uh, this turns into a bullet dodge shooter. To be honest, I, I would say it's worth buying the collection just to play this. So I won't play this for too long. We'll have a quick look at this boss and then we'll move on to the next game. As I bet. Anyway, guys, so that's uh, Batugan. Do like this game a lot. It's very, very good. And this is a very nice conversion indeed. So um, we'll move on to the next game. Right, guys, this is the next game. This is uh, Fix 8. This is a vertical scrolling run and gun. Um, pretty much sort of the sequel to Outzone. Uh, I love Outzone. It is my favourite uh, tool plan game. This one. I do like it, but I didn't like it that much at first because it's quite it's a bit different to Outzone and it doesn't have particularly great music or anything like that. And it took me a while to figure out the character I really like on you. But now I have, I'm starting to really like this game. The more I'm playing it, the more I'm really liking it. So I am going to go for a 1cc on this. I'm not going to do it now, mate, but I am going to try and go for it. I got close to it on the weekend. So let's start this. So you've got eight characters to choose from. Like the original Outzone guy, she wasn't bonnet, but she's very similar to him. Uh, they all got slightly different weapons. Some are a bit odd, some are not odd. Uh, the ninja's quite good, but the guy I like is this guy. The reason I like him is he's got firing, he's standard fire and fires forward and back. So you can basically move the fire on like it's in various directions. Um, he has got a secondary fire, which I'll show you in a minute, which is this. Very short range, but extremely powerful. Very useful for bosses and getting through certain sections of the game. There is a special weapon you can pick up in this game, which is like the is, is second weapon, but it's more like a grenade version of it. It's like a grenade launcher type thing. So basically it doesn't fire in a three-way arc. It's, um... Oops, here we go. 
it just fires in one uh, in one line. You also pick up uh, specials in this. Sometimes you get speed up. I'm going to do this. Sometimes you get speed up. Um, sometimes you can get a shield, or the majority of the time you get the special weapon. What I found with this is, as long as you've got a good weapon, you can pretty much run a lot of this game in these sections. I'll show you the section on uh, part two as well. This weapon is definitely desirable for the bosses as well because they melt them. That's level one. So far, I found two levels sections you can do. You can basically run through. There is others as well, but I, I need to play the game a lot more. I'm not going to pick that question mark up because that could be uh, the wrong weapon. With the smart bomb in this game, like it's just firing a smart bomb essentially, uh, with the smart bomb in this game you can use it as um, a bit of invincibility. I'll show you that now. So basically that snake will come out and I'll use it as a bit of invincibility to get past him. But obviously I didn't use it there. So what I found by here, there's a good way you can run through this section as well. You basically kill these by here, get the power-ups, change to the second weapon, destroy this wall and then do a runner. You may need to bomb in one or two places, like by here. By here. And if you're lucky, you will be able to run through this bit without getting it. As you can see, I picked up a shield, which is nice. And what you can do then is point blank this boss and ruin him. So what I found is th this section is a little bit tricky, but this weapon seems to be the best for this section of the game. This section can be quite hard. First time I got here, I, I couldn't I couldn't work it out. It took me a while to get it right and I ended up dying quite a bit. What you might need to do is use your bombs on this section as well. That went particularly well. Alright, so use the sort of uh, his normal special weapon, which is very powerful. I might just use it actually. Like I said, the, mu the music is nowhere near as good as Outzone on this game. But I, I am sort of getting used to it. His second weapon is very good for this bit, but as soon as I got this cannon, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that. And then after a while, you get there's two sections in this game, uh, as far as I know so far, where you get on this like flying bike. I might just uh, I might just bomb this. Seems I've got bombs. I'm not going for a playthrough. We'll just destroy it. The second section on the bike is where you get a big flying enemy. The more you get into this game, the more it starts to go a little bit more like um, out zone. this bit as well. So this is getting a little bit more like sort of what out zones like. It 
It definitely gets um, better the more you get into it. So we'll see if we can get to the boss quickly. If we can't, uh, we'll call it a day and we'll go on to the next end. You can you can sort of run this bit a little bit quick as well. Now I'm out of bombs now, mind, so because I was running it. And if you change weapon on this bit, you've got to watch for it. Ah. This second weapon is great for this bit. Let's go for the run. I've never actually had this weapon on this boss. Okay, you can kill our boss fast. So guys, this is uh, Fix 8. It's a really fun, it is a really fun game that I, I didn't particularly like too much at first. But the more I'm playing it, the more I'm really enjoying it. I'm starting to like it a lot. So yeah, I'm going to go for the 1cc. So um, this is well worth playing as well. It's a good two-plan game. But if you like the look of this, but have a go of Outzone, which is on one of the other collections. Uh, Outzone is fantastic. So guys, let's, um, let's move on to the next game. Right then, guys, this is the next game in the series. This is um, V Manor or V Manor. I would say it's called V Manor, but depends on how you want to look at it. Uh, so, this is horizontal shoot map with the ships that look a little bit like planes. As you can see, they, they can fire fast and they do have a charge mechanic. Um, you can pick up a couple of power ups to make your weapons get better. I think you pick up four. And um, there is a bomb mechanic. A bomb is a little bit different in this game. It's, it puts all these orbs around your ship and then they fly off and home in on enemies. Plus, when you initially press it, it does cancel all the bullets. So it's quite an interesting one. You can use it as defensive and offensive at the same time, which is quite handy. Um, with the options as well, guys, the same applies for all this as the other game. So we're going to start this off. I'm going to give you guys tip number one. Do not bother um, using the charge. Waste of time. Don't need it. It's it's a bit of a ruse in this game using the charge. Just forget that. Just what you want to do is as simple as this. Go into your um, assists, which auto fire doesn't count as an assist. Put auto fire on twenty, and you're good to go. That's all you need to know. You don't need the, you don't need the charge. Now you got fast, really nice fast auto fire. And what you'll find is, is when you power this weapon up with the auto fire, it just melts everything. One other thing I would say with Toplan games as well, I would say this is probably this and Tiger Heli, probably this one of the easier games. It's not easy, but it's a bit. It, it, it won't take you too long once you once you give up on the uh, charging. It won't take you too long to get a one CC on it. It's not too bad to one CC. But it is a fun shoot map. What I'll do, I'll show you the bomb. The bomb does that. And it cancels the bullets and then you, it keeps rotating around you. And then flies off and kills enemies. Like I said, you can use it as an offensive weapon and a, and a defensive weapon. I tend to use it as a bit of both, to be honest. The sections of this game that can be a little bit tricky with uh, enemies in various places I use it as an offensive weapon at that point. As you'll see with this first boss, you can melt this boss pretty damn quick, like that. The one little complaint I would say with this game is the, the firing is very loud. It's the same when you play on Mister or Mame. The firing is very loud in this game. So you, it, this game does have some pretty nice music. It's just you can't hear a lot of it because it's in the background. It gets overshadowed by the sound effects, which is something a lot of arcade games do, unfortunately. I suppose it's the way they get noticed in an arcade. Would be nice if there was a, a way to really properly adjust it, but there isn't.
So each of the levels in this, uh, they keep following in from each other. So there's no stopping at the end of a level. See, a lot of Topan games are a bit like that, actually. There's only one or two of them that do actually give you a score at the end of the level. So you can see, this is, it is quite a basic shoot map, but it's, it's, it's a fun one. Now I'll be at full power. Now this laser is basically a melted machine. Anything gets in front of it just gets melted. This is why you don't need the charge mechanic in this game. I found this out by uh, playing the Mr. Vision a lot. Also, a good thing about the when you have full power, it stretches a lot wider than the actual ship. So there's later on in the game, you get enemies that come from behind you and things like that. And you can go at the back and they'll, they'll just get killed by a laser. You don't have to do anything to them. So we've got a, another little boss coming up now. You can kill this without a bomb, but I'll show you how quick it'll go with this firing and a bomb. Oh, I didn't even need it. Ruined him anyway. I was looking on the high score table as well. Somebody's looped it seven times. I've I've looped it uh, one and a bit, and with some practice, I reckon I could double loop it. Easy. First loop is not too bad on this game. It does get a lot harder on the second loop, but um, it's still doable. Just when you start losing weapons, it gets a little bit more tricky. So I, I reckon that. Um, you know, one life clear definitely is possible on this game. With a bit of practice, you can do it. This is one of those sections that I tend to use um, bombs as defensive. Uh, offensive, sorry. One other thing that you may have found with it, the music is, the music is cut off. It's a bit of a glitch I found in this game. Um, once you get to the next level, it will actually come back. Um, I asked uh, what someone I know who um, has the arcade board of this, and it doesn't do it on the arcade board. So this is a little bit of a glitch. I don't know whether um, Bitwave are aware of it. As you can see, the music disappears. Does it? Occasionally. Every now and then. Could be something to do with the fast auto fire. I don't know. But out, out of all the four games in this collection, this is the only glitch I've come across. So... As we got this far, guys, this is V Manor. Uh, actually, a little bit of an unappreciated game in the Topan, in the Topan sort of shoot maps, but it, it is a fun one. A little bit basic, but it is fun. So a nice one, well worth playing. So I tell you what, we'll move on to the uh, last game in this collection. Right, guys, this is the last game in the collection. This is uh, Topan's first game, Tiger Heli. This was a classic sort of uh, helicopter shoot map that was everywhere back in the day and um, it's what guard but it's it's fun it's quite basic but it does it does have bombs um the enemies do follow like patterns and stuff and you can get sniped really easy on this game but it's a fun game nevertheless i used to like this back in the day years ago same with the options on this one same apply what I found in this game, guys, what you want is a non auto fire button for the majority of the game. So you don't need to fire that fast in this game, so the auto fire does The auto fire is not that useful. And then what you want to do is set the button for full auto fire like that. And then if you get a boss or something that comes up, you can use the auto fire then to take the boss out. Your helicopter moves quite slow in this game. It's quite a slow, lethargic game. And what, what you'll probably notice uh, soon is the, the enemies, they fire on like patterns. And once you, once you start learning the timing between when they fire, you can start getting better at this game. So this is where the auto fire comes in, Andy. To get things like our little bosses. So you can see that they, they fire a lot, but it's like fire, 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 fire. If you get too close to something, you will literally get sniped. So 
So it is a classic game for Toplan. This this was everywhere back in the day. It was very popular. Make sure you don't want to be too near those tanks when they turn around. Or when they come on screen. You can get little side pods in this as well, like you'll you'll probably see at some point. Ah, it's trying to bomb him. You'll um the side pods you can fire sideways, you can fire forward, depending on the colour you get. White is forward, I think uh, red is sideways. And the blue one then is an extra bomb, as you see there. The bomb gives you a nice spread to take out uh, bullets and enemies, but um you've you've gotta sort of predict it. As you're firing it off. You get those little bonus icons there as well. What you'll find in this game as well is once you've got the little helicopter pods, um, if you go to the side of the screen, the helicopter pods will block you from getting to the side of the screen. So it can be a little bit tricky sometimes once you're fully powered up. I'll get a, that's a bomb again. I wanted to get it by the helicopter side, but oh well. It does make you play a little bit different once you've got the helicopter pods. Um, the pods, is the, I say pods, are little helicopters. Um, they they can get sniped off, so you'll, you'll grab them and then you'll, you'll lose them pretty quick. I've got to be in the wrong position here. I found if you stay by there and then just do a run from this guy. game's got quite basic music as well but it does the job this is pretty much the beginnings of uh, Toe Plan he did a sequel to this uh, which is also on one of the other collections which is a fantastic game and uh, Kurukuko Taiga uh, which is pretty fantastic and there was also a Kurukuko Taiga 2 but it was done by Takumi it wasn't actually done by um, oh god by Toe Plan, which is also very good, actually. You just got to get used to the distances you need to be from enemies, and uh, once you once you start getting your head around the firing and uh, how often they fire and various things like that, it, it does make it a little bit easier to dodge. But this game is still pretty tricky. Ah, actually, right. there's a helicopter, you'll fire to the right. But as you'll see, I can't go that far across to the right now. So I'm getting blocked. So if I try and get a, a white one, this is where auto fire comes in handy. Well, I had the helicopter pod, but uh, lost it straight away. As you can see, when there's a lot of bullets on screen, you, you've got a pretty big hitbox, and it, it gets quite tricky. <laughs> so I've only got to area 14 at the moment. And this game does loop as well, like a lot of Chopin games. Same as V-Mana, V-Mana um, or V-Mana. Uh, that, that also loops as well. So... Yeah, so that's Tiger Heli, guys. That's the four games in this collection. So you've got um, Fixate, V-Mana, uh, Batsugan, and uh, Tiger Heli. I would say for, this is a very nice collection. They play really well. There's a nice amount of options. There's good practice options. You get a lot, really, for your money, to be honest. Even if you were buying them separate at £6.69 um, each, you know, they are maybe a pound more than the arcade archive stuff on their console, which is very nice as well. But the, this offers a lot more options, a lot more practice options um, and the online leaderboards, which you do get with the um, arcade archive stuff as well. Uh, but as as a collection for 16 quid, you can't go wrong, to be honest. You know, that, that's brilliant. So that's like £4 a game. And the, the effort has gone in to um, convert these over with all the extra options and that. It, it, they're well worth picking up. So I definitely recommend them, the same as I recommended the uh, the last two collections. I think they're very good and very good for the money. So the only, I say, the only thing I would like to see is 
basically perf- a, you know a perfect sort of um, pixel look with scan lines. Just give me the option to have uh, just put standard scan lines over the top without a blur or a CRT filter. I I'd say I did mention on the other uh, reviews as well. That's the only uh, the only downside for you this collection is that. Apart from that, I think this collection is very good. So guys, hope you um, enjoyed the review and like I say pick these up. I think if you like the look of them, Topan Games are fantastic and this is highly recommended. So I'll um I'll catch you in the next review. Bye now.